Hey guys, this is part two of the uh, 9600 GT unboxing, and uh, well, you have to watch part one for most of the unboxing. Um, I've already unboxed the 9600 GT, it's already installed. Um, Call of Duty 4 now plays much better. Flight Simulator runs ultra high all the way with a resolution of 1280 by 768 with 8 times anti aliasing, which is just the uh, smooth rate and all sorts. Um, played some other games, uh, like I played Rainbow Six Vegas 2, that's running much better. Will play Rome Total War. Uh, haven't played that in ages though, I've still got a campaign going on that game. Hope the neck. Um, Played Fallout 3, brilliant. So yeah, the graphics card is a great upgrade. Um, if you just watched, it is the 9800 GT with 512 meg of GDDR3. Um, it's cost me £99.99 .99 from PC World. Um, this is just the box it came in. It's by PNY. They make good cards, they overclock, they can get overclocked edition of these cards. Um, I was going to get the 9600 GT overclocked edition, but it was £109 to make my budget. Um, this comes with OpenGL 2.1 support, uh, full Direct X 10 support, and Shader Model 4.0. It comes with unified architecture, SLI ready, physics ready, CUDA ready. Supports the 2.0 Express, pure video HD technology, so streaming Blu ray for your computer, and the dual link HDCP cap 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 yeah, capable. Um, obviously, I'm going to read you the minimum system requirements. Uh, you need a PCI Express or a PCI Express 2.0 with one X16 graphic slot, so the PCI Express will be the X16 and the Express 2.0. Minimum is 400 watts. Um, if using if you're using below 500, if you got to have a 12 volt current rating with a, of 26 amps, so basically 12 volt rail with 30 amp. Uh, you need a 1/6 pin supplementary connector. It does come with an adapter, which adapts the 6 pin into a to two 4 pin Molex connector for older. Uh, you need to have Microsoft Windows Vista 32 or 64, XP 32 or 64, Linux 32 or 64, or the free, or free BSD times 86. It's the first time I've ever heard that, to be honest. I just got it. Just there. Free. What does it say? Free BSD x86. If you know what that is, let me know. Uh, you need a. A Pentium 4 processor or an F1 or XP class heart processor or higher. A Giga system memory, CD ROM, DVD ROM, simple. One meg of available hard disk space, VGA or DVR compatible monitor. Uh, good things about this thing is um, the, obviously the memory, 512G DDR3. Um, it's got a 600 megahertz core clock, 900 megahertz memory clock, and 1500 megahertz shader clock. Very good. Um, it looks great. Um, obviously, in my case, I'll show you in a minute what it looks like. Currently, it's on because it's downloading a few things for me. Um, just let you know, I'm running a Windows Vista, not running Windows Vista, sorry, I'm running a Windows XP 32 bit. I've got a Vista wallpaper, and the um, little logo Windows Vista underneath the, it has bringing clarity to your world. And um, with my old 9500 GT, Take. Um, the bringing clarity to all when it stretched to fit the screen size, which was which is 1280 by 768, um, had lines and it was like all cut and everything. But now it's smooth, it's nice, it's brilliant. Uh, 9800 GT has made my gaming and multimedia experience great because uh, my consumption is huge now. I'm huge for multimedia, I'm huge for gaming, and I've got like almost 40 games on my computer. That's more than I have on my 360, and hopefully, I'm going to transfer from Xbox to my PC. Just need to get in a uh, Crossfire adapter for the um, controller. Um, other great things it use it has. It says um, it's it's got award-winning image quality. Uh, it's got playback for high, def high definition videos and multi monitors support. So if you're running two monitors, got it great. Ultra realistic characters and environments. 
Worry-free compatibility means it's compatible with pretty much everything. And uh, it's like a second pro processor while during gaming. It pretty much offloads the work from the CPU. That means your CPU doesn't have to do a lot of work while you're going through games and your graphics card can handle all the most of the CPU work and yet the GPU work that games require. So that means your computer won't run as hot as possible. And I've noticed that while playing Call of Duty 4. I did one act and usually if I did that on my 9500 GT, my processor would jump from 30 degrees, well 30 degrees to 35 degrees up to 40 to 45, so I think it was 10 degrees. But now, the um, it only jumps from 30 to 35 to 33 to, uh, 33 to 38 degrees. So that's such a low, it's such a big difference what well, makes this 9800 GT. It's a great card. Huntsman works with Windows Vista, obviously. Authorised board partner, PNY is an authorised NVIDIA board partner, obviously. 256-bit memory interface, so yeah. Um, it comes with the DVI VGA adapter, which I'm using. And it also does come with, if I get it out, this is what I didn't really explain. Sorry, I've got other things in here now, stocked in there. This is the um, component cable. Basically, you plug that into your S-Video on the graphics card, and uh, what you do is get a component, double-ending component cable, and a uh, S-Video to AV connector. So you get your two right and left audio for this connector, and your 1080i out of this. Maximum of 1080i, which is very good, which is maximum my screen hold. So I think um, I might actually do this if I do sell my Xbox, and uh, which I probably won't. But if I do change that to HDMI. Because at the moment my HDMI lead is flickering a bit, but if I do change the HDMI because I won't be using it a lot, I will uh, use this instead. Very handy if you want a few Blu-ray man who wants to watch HD movies. Um, I mean, a great graphics card. It's one of a kind. Um, to be honest, my 3D Mark score went from 4,900 to close to 8,000, and I know it's not massively great for a game. This is just a normal gamer's computer. Okay, two gigs of RAM, two and a half, two point six gig of dual core with a nine hundred GT graphics card. What more do you want to play games with? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you the card. Uh, down here is my computer. Thumb screws are uh, thumb screws are brilliant. They're really nice, very grippy. Oh god. Oh, all right. Right, what I'm going to do is just lie that there, and what we're going to do is come all the way down and show you my graphics card. As you can see, I'm using the four pin, two four pin Molex to six pin, and uh, well, I've just touched it, and this computer's been on pretty much since I got the graphics card, and the board's not hot. I mean, it's hot near the, obviously, but not hot out here. It's brilliant, it's a great card. Very long, nice, nice and long. Uh, my old card used to come up to about here. Well, yeah, about where this chip there, there. See all that chip in? That's where it used to, and so there's a big, it's about an inch on added on. As you can see, there's the bottom of the card. There's the fan working nicely. And uh, to be honest, the card is amazing. The card's great. It's two dual link DVI ports with an S video port so yeah so if you're thinking of getting a new graphics card and uh, you're just a normal gamer like me get yourself a 9800 GT 100 pounds great thank you for watching the part 2 review